Hey guys, some stupid Skesher guy here with another video. Now today's video is going to be a collection update, which I haven't done in over eight months. So as you can imagine, some placement of figures have changed and some new figures have been added to the cast. So let's get into it. So first up we got, well, this doesn't really deserve to have a shelf name because it's just three figures. These three are just here because they're too big to really fit on any other shelf, so they just get their own little place right here. And if you've also noticed, there's no small Mattel figures here, that's because they're all put in storage. I don't really like the smaller Mattel figures, so I decided not to display them because they were small, annoying, and just... I don't know, I just didn't really like them that much. So they get put in storage. I know, that's a first for me. But next up we got, above that, is another really big shelf that's been fused. It's the Ankylosaurid, Pachycephalosaurid, and Sauropod shelf. Now, if last time I did a collection update, these guys had their own shelf, and these guys had their own shelf. Well, now I decided to put them together because I think it's fitting. The main new addition, if you can look back here, is the Collecte Borealo Pelta. That is the main new addition here. It's a small figure, but it has a, a lot of pep, and I really like it. Besides that, though, the figures are ones that you've already seen before. They're just put in a new position. Then as we move over here, we see both the Velociraptor and T-Rex shelves, and these have remained basically unchanged. I know, what a shock. But yeah, I haven't really bought many Velociraptor or T-Rex figures, so they just stay here, I guess. Nothing else really to be mentioned. Same with the Paleozoic shelf. The Paleozoic shelf is also unchanged. Last time we checked, because I haven't really bought any Paleozoic figures either. But then we can move down to some of the other shelves that have done some changes. First up, we got the Ceratopsian shelf. The Ceratopsian shelf hasn't really changed too much, but it does have one really cool new addition, and that is the Sakutahabe Triceratops. This figure I really like, and I think is a really good welcome addition to my figure collection. And as we look back here, the Stegosaurids haven't really changed much either. But then we also move up to the small Theropod shelf, which has gotten even smaller from the previous time I was talking about it, in January. And yeah, there haven't really been that many new figures. A lot of the bigger figures on that shelf were moved up to the medium to large Theropod shelf, which you'll see in a moment. But there are a few new additions. This little cutie, the Batet Mini Dilophosaurus, and the Papocomsignathus, which I was given by my good friend Burning Spinozilla Swagax. Or just Burning Spinozilla. Then as we move up to the large to medium theropod shelf, we see quite a bit of a difference. As you can see, it's kind of filled to the brim with a lot of figures that were on the original small theropod shelf, such as the Schleichcarno, the, uh, the Papocryolophosaurus, the Schleichdilophosaurus, and a couple in the back, like the Papo Allosaurus, the Safari Limited Allosaurus, and the, uh, of course, Billy, and uh, the Carnegie, the Carnegie couple. So that has definitely been a major change. I haven't actually bought any real new big or medium theropods, it's just that they've been repositioned. Then, same applies to Miscellaneous, not much change honestly, except for Bandai Godzilla just sitting back there, and also another Carnegie Tannistrophius. That, honestly, I was super excited to get because I like this color scheme over the original. Well, not the original. This is actually the second version. This is the original version. I like the original version better, so I'm glad I got it. And as we step up, we go to the pterosaur shelf and also mythical creature shelf. And not much change either, but there is at least one new cool addition, again given to me by Burning Spinozilla, and that's the Collecte Hatsigopteryx. Now this figure I'm really glad I did get, but the rest of it, they're just cool pterosaurs. I haven't really, you've already seen these guys. Next up, we got the Cenozoic shelf, which also hasn't had too much change. I actually lost one of the figures, the collect, not the collect, the Safari Limited uh, Presmolski's horse, which I traded in for the Eofauna Dinotherium. That is the big change here. The Eofauna Dinotherium looking pretty awesome, standing right next to the Meropus pretty darn cool. As well as that, there's a small change with the Mattel shelf. I haven't really bought many Mattel figures, really. I mean, the Sarcosuchus is now pointing this way, and the Solaris kind of crushed in there. Poor little guy. 
Also, there isn't really a change with the Kenner shelf. The Kenner shelf also hasn't really changed, but then there's the shelf that's really changed. The shelf that's really changed is the favorite shelf. The favorite shelf has gotten some really great changes recently. So, of course, we got the Chronosaurus Duo just hanging around here, but we also got some great new rare figures sitting on here. First, we got the Toyway Utah Raptor, and then in the back here, you can see a couple of figures that have been repositioned, the Kenner Dilophosaurus and the Carnegie Tylosaurus, as well as the little Batat Pachycephalosaurus sitting on the canoe. That guy is doing pretty cool. And also there's this random Sylveon. I don't know why it's there. Um, as we move forward here, some small repositioning of the Caudipteryx and the Funko Dilophosaurus. But as we move here, we get to see some really cool new rare figures, including this guy. The Safari Limited Dinosaurs of China Mementisaurus. And right next to that, we got the Papo Limited Edition Spinosaurus. Again, another great purchase that I'm really glad I finally got. And if you want, I think it's still up for 50 bucks on Amazon. And you already know these guys, the Carnegie Amigos and the Firebeak up there. But the other nice, cool change we got here is the Batat Oranosaurus. The Batat Oranosaurus is another great figure that I'm glad I was able to get, helping add to my rare figures. And honestly, I think the favorite shelf is definitely the shelf I'm the most proud of here, because, I mean, look at all these guys. They're great rare figures, and they make me feel like a legitimate figure collector. So why shouldn't I be proud? So that concludes the collection update. Hope you guys enjoyed this collection update, and see you guys next time.